Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Funko Legacy Collection action figure of Rat from Fantastic Mr. Fox. So right off the bat, I gotta say that Rat is a good looking figure, but his legs are so slim and his feet are so tiny and flat that, you know, he actually, you know, he'll need the figure stand because he can't stand on his own. Um, and one of my concerns uh, is that his feet, you know, the, an the ankle joint is at the back of a flat foot, right? So even when you use the figure stand, I'm concerned that so much weight and the hinge is at the back end of this flat foot that he's going to probably, over time, want to lean backwards. And I think that's going to be a problem. But hopefully it's not a problem now. Um, but I have a feeling in the future he's going to be leaning on a wall when I put him on a shelf. He's going to have to need that wall to support himself. Looking at the rest of the figure, he's got a very well-articulated head. There appears to be like a ball joint in there, and uh, he's got a good range of motion, especially compared to, you know, Mr. Fox. He's got the ball-hinged shoulders, and uh, the left shoulder is really tight. Uh, also, his elbows, they have, like, the, uh, the edges here come to these little points. So you don't get that much of a range of motion out of his elbow joint, so that's a bit of a problem for me. Um, you got the swivel at the wrist, and that's good, but man, is that elbow a big disappointment. You have the ball hinge at the uh, torso, so you can get him lean forward, back, left and right. Uh, and then you've got the, like, ball, it's like a, yeah, it's like a pivoty hinge at his waist there. Same thing with his knees. They're, they're single joint knees, but they have this little point at the back, so you can't really bend them that far back. First of all, my right knee is a little tight, but the left knee can only go so far with that stopper there. It's almost like what's the point of having a knee joint if it's not going to be able to bend at a decent angle. But he does have a uh, swivel there and a swivel at the bottom of the pants too. So that's cool. Now he's got some accessories. He's got cider. And I think it's really cool that they've included this. Um, also, I think it's cool just seeing that font, which shows up in a lot of Wes Anderson stuff, on a toy. Um, aside from that, he also comes with this knife. And he comes with a figure stand that's got two different sized foot pegs to go to the appropriate feet. And it says number two on it. This is the second figure in the series. Now, going back to the figure itself, I do like what they did with his head. I think they did a great job sculpting it. It certainly has like the right shape. Like they translated the character into action figure form very well. I also like all these little groove lines going into the surface of it. It's not super detailed and furry, but you do get that sense of a, you know, a rat-like fur texture. It's subtle, but it's there. And I like those little tiny groove lines. Also, I like the way they painted his red eyes and the fact that you can kind of see his teeth through there, the teeth paint. It's pretty solid. I mean, the, it, his nose is clean, and the lines on his sweater are clean, and the little use of light brown paint on his feet gives his uh, feet a little more skin-like detail on the bottom. I like the uh, the paint on the ears. I mean, the, the paint, I mean, even his nose is like a really clean paint job on the nose. I uh, really dig this figure as far as the overall design of him. Despite the limited range of articulation, the actual shape and the paint is really well done. Oh, I should probably mention that the figure has a tail. The, the paint job on it's pretty simple, but it's a good sculpt as far as the waviness of it goes, and the articulation on it's pretty strong as far as the hinge and the swivel of it goes. So now I'm going to take the uh, figure stand and try to attach the figure to it. My luck with the Funko figure stand discs has been kind of hit or miss lately, but I'm happy to say that with Rat, the figure stand fits perfectly onto the feet. And like I already said, I really dig this figure, but what I, what I also really dig is the fact that Funko has made Fantastic Mr. Fox action figures. I mean, this movie came out like almost six years ago, and I just think that it's got such a good little nerdy fan base of animation goobs who love it and Wes Anderson fans that I like that Funko responded to those fans and provided these action figures because that doesn't seem like the obvious figure line. But I'm really happy they exist, and I think this one turned out great. Thanks for watching.